What do you want in exchange? Immunity? No, I simply want Halbeck out of my country, which will ensure greater profits for me in the long run. So we get rid of a greater evil in exchange for a lesser one. Welcome to the world, Mr. Thornton. But believe me, I seek to strengthen my country, and Halbeck seeks to weaken it. All right, you got a deal. Excellent. I will arrange to have the records transmitted to you, and as information develops, we shall speak more. I think Halbeck made a poor choice when they decided to set you up, Mr. Thornton. Let's prove that out, shall we? Nothing would make me happier. And by the narrowest of margins, our mission is complete with Surkov as an ally. We've got a very short summary here, because we had a very short mission here. But we did gain a number of perks. And we also finished Moscow. Let's talk about the perks first. Perks are more interesting than Moscow. We finished five missions with fewer than five enemies killed and no alarms. That gives us a minus 5% sight range for our enemies, making it that much easier to sneak around them. We also got the next level of experience for completing an entire mission. An entire mission hub, I should say. Which is plus five endurance. And we also got camaraderie for winning over ten people. It gives us a 5% discount from all vendors on all non-intel items. That's pretty nice to have. Our email is courtesy of some blackmail that we did in the past. They're pretty lighthearted about blackmail over at Halbeck. They're all used to it. They've all done it before to get to where they are. But for us, it's worth a nice 15 grand, which we desperately need after spending all of our money on stealth armor. As you can see, we don't even have 30 grand even after that cash infusion. All that being said, our time in Moscow is done. And it's time to go to Rome. So let's roll it into this video, shall we? Why not? Getting situated? Nice place. I kind of hope this operation lasts a while. I could get used to this. All right, what do we got? From the information Shahid gave us, it's not clear what the link is between Halbeck and Al Samad in Rome, but it does list the local Al Samad cell leader, a Jabril Al Bara. But you know, you have this really cute way of broadcasting trouble with your tone. It's part of my charm. What's the problem? There's a CIA listening post here in Rome, and it's pretty well staffed. They're definitely running a search on you. Huh. And El Samad, it looks like. What's their chance of tracking us down? I don't know. You could try to stay below the radar, but that doesn't really seem to be your strong suit. Any chance of keeping an eye on them, or bugging the system, tapping into their network? It's possible. But you'd need to slip in there without being detected. So we'll have to be extra covert when carrying out this covert op which will make finding the Al Samad cell even harder. There may be another way to get information we need on Al Samad and Halbeck. It looks like there's an NSA echelon listening post in Rome. You might be able to access that and use their database to do our hunting for us. It looks like it's in a gelato shop. You've got to be kidding me. Stranger things have happened. So those are my options? Disarm the listening post, tap into the NSA computer, or make a straight run for Albara? What about Halbeck? What's their tie here? There's nothing about it in Shahid's records. So I did a check of Halbeck employees and ex-employees in Rome. One recent arrival came to the top that I think is worth looking into. Conrad Marburg. What do you have on him? Not much. He seems to avoid the spotlight. He's not showing up on many sites or search results. All right, so what's Marburg's tie to Halbeck? He doesn't have one, at least as of a year ago. 
He was actually chief of security, but then apparently transferred to working as a contractor for the Veteran Combat Initiative. That's the same organization that Z works for. Oh, Joy. She may know something that could help us. Unless you need advice on implants, I wouldn't bother. Hmm. All right. You got a picture of Marburg? Sending it to your screen now. His dossier doesn't have much on him, and some of the early details seem sketchy to me. Mike, what's wrong? Something tells me Marburg's our real problem. But let's figure out the Al-Samad connection first. They're a little more knee-jerk than Halbeck. Do you think Shahid will help? I'm certain, especially if Halbeck's... Whoops, audio problems are back. At least the video doesn't look sped up this time, but... What can I do? Other than curse all the firstborn of the LP subforum. I'll go with that. I curse all the firstborn of the LP. Ah, I can't even get through it. None of you are going to have children. No, I, sh I shouldn't say that. That's mean and hurtful. I'm sure some of you might kidnap children. Okay, no more children jokes. Because who's got time for that? We're in Rome. We got a hot tub. Let's get in the hot, get in the hot tub, Mike. Get in the hot tub. Why would they give us a hot tub and not let us use it? That's just cruel. Uh, you may notice Mike Sushenka has been replaced with a head wrap. That is the headwear of Rome, I guess, except not really because the head wrap was also in other places. But the point is, it's time to change Mike's appearance again, and that's all up to you. Make him as creepy or as extra creepy as you like. I know the hats here really scream Rome to me. I mean, if if this were Paris, I could see the beret. But even that's not really a beret beret. It's a military beret. And, you know, it's not like there's... We already went with the full douche razor sunglasses for Taiwan. I mean, what are the, uh... Are the wraps the next level of douchiness for Rome? I don't know. But it's up to you. Tell me how to make him dress. Also up to you is how we handle our one and only dialogue mission. To investigate the NSA listening post at the gelato shop. Which I'm blanking out on how you say in Italian, so just tell us, tell me, if we should be aggressive, suave, or professional. 